Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And I just put this uh, contraption together uh, using debug mode, but it could easily be built using uh, duplicates. It's not that complicated. And I've tried to build something like this in the past, but I found this is a very simple design and it's effective and it seems to work. So I'll just explain what it's doing here. It's taking oil from over here. This is kind of from the oil biome. It's at around 86 degrees. It's pumping it into this kind of temporary storage tank here. And I actually manually put oil in here at 80 degrees or at 60, 60 degrees earlier, but it's okay if this is at 80. It doesn't really matter. This is acting as a heat sink. But what's happening is I'm pumping oil from this little tank here using a bisolite pipe. I come around this way. It goes into a shut off liquid shutoff valve. And from there it goes into a, a regular valve, and that's set to 450 grams per second. And then it comes along here, and it drips in here. And initially this container's empty, or with CO2 or whatever gas, doesn't really matter. Uh, it drips down here, and this is all, um, this metal tile is made out of tungsten. I think this could be gold, it doesn't have to be tungsten. This one little tile here has to be tungsten. Uh, so what you do is you just get a dupe to build that after they basically build it on top of the abyss light and it will replace the abyss light. And now this magma is at 1500 degrees. It heats up the abyss light tile to about 1200 or so. And then this, what happens is this oil comes along this metal tile and it's, it's, hot here because of the uh okay <laughs> basically the oil is rolling along drips down here uh gets heated up to i think 400 degrees first of all that's the boiling point of oil and then it turns into petroleum let's just get some petroleum here and then the petroleum boils at 538 degrees celsius and turns into natural gas so it's kind of like a flash evaporation process. It's going quickly from oil to petroleum to natural gas, and the natural gas is building up in here. But natural gas at 260 degrees or so is not useful because you can't pump it. The pump melts, melts down at 125 degrees. So in order to cool it, as you come along this way, um, it's basically cooling as it comes along because this cooler and cooler oil is absorbing the heat. And then right here, uh, this area is quite cool because the heat is being transferred through this metal tile into this oil here. And because you're continually feeding oil into the system, either from slicksters or from some kind of reservoir, this uh, basically stays at a fairly constant temperature. It heats up a little bit, then it gets dribbled out and gets destroyed. Or not destroyed, but transformed. So this actually never gets too hot. Uh, the temp shift plate is probably not necessary, but it does kind of spread the heat out from this area right here. So the natural gas right here is, let's say 112, and then as we go to the right here, it's at 80, 70, which is low enough to pump. And then right over the pump, it's, 70 degrees. This tile here is 68 and this oil here is 66. So like I said, the oil will heat up over time, but it's also getting moved out. So, And then we're setting the natural gas off in a abyss light pipe and sending it into natural gas generators. Now at 450 grams per second, that's enough to run about seven natural gas generators which is pretty nice. And this magma will last a long, long time because it's actually extracting the heat very slowly. Now you could set up multiple of these if you wanted more power generation. You could set up multiple drip points or just duplicate the whole system. So I thought I'd share just a very basic design I think all the pipes in here are abyssalite, liquid and gas. 
just to maintain temperature. And there's some regulation right down here. If too much oil spills over here and gets tr turned into petroleum, it would kind of build up and it wouldn't, it wouldn't work anymore. So this regulation here, it's a liquid sensor and if it's below five kilograms, it will run, but if it gets, if it accumulates here, it'll shut off this, it'll turn this liquid shut off. So the oil stops flowing, it gets time to kind of catch up uh, and evaporate off any kind of residual petroleum and then it continues on. This pump's made out of gold. This is all of this light along here. Let's speed it up here, you can see it in action. So right in the flash point, it's about 400 degrees. Up a little ways, it's 200. And as you go to the right here, it falls in temperature. So it's like a uh, kind of a, what do they call it? A counter current temperature system. The oil is getting hotter as it goes this way and gets preheated. So that doesn't have to be warmed up as much. So right before it drips off, it's 200 degrees. And this whole thing is 20 tiles long, 21 if you count this last little bit. And the pressure is building up in there because I'm not using natural gas. I should be pumping it all. I should have more natural gas generators to use it all up. So this allows you to skip the whole petroleum uh, process, like using the uh, oil refinery. Is that what it's called? The the oil refinery, yeah. <laughs> which which needs a dupe. This doesn't need any dupes, it's automated. I think I explained everything about it, uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll put it in the comments. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.